Dr. Del Monte is going to be commenting on this topic as well. Thank you again. Uh, yes, I'd like to uh, again address our technique um, that we've developed over kind of the same period of time. Again, I have no conflict of interest to disclose uh, for this presentation. Vertical null point uh, nystagmus really hasn't been addressed very much. Pierce in 59 presented the first, or described the first null point nystagmus surgery. And when he reported two cases, he underwent bilateral uh, inferior rectus recessions and bilateral superior oblique weakening. <clears throat> a signal and, and diamond in 1990 surveyed APOS members. People were starting to do vertical recess for sec procedures and finding that they weren't very successful. They were mostly undercorrecting, and, and they found people increasing over the time their uh, dose of surgery for recession alone or for combined recess for sec procedures. And they were finding smaller amounts of surgery were undercorrecting the uh, vertical anomalous head posture. And there was growing recognition that they needed to do larger numbers. Park went, Parks recommended four millimeters in both in 1973 and increased that to eight millimeters in both in 1996. And uh, in the Saunders-Wilson group, uh, it recommended eight millimeters along with a uh, uh, cycle vertical <coughs> muscle in 1996. And we had, since the 19, late 1980s, been increasing and increasing vertical recess for sec, vertical Kestenbaum-Anderson procedures. And we, uh, Michael Young, when he was a fellow, uh, looked at our data. And uh, that was the second paper that was referred to in, <coughs> in the last presentation. We retrospectively reviewed over 10,000 cases of strabismus surgery done at our institution during that period of time, and we identified 20 consecutive patients who underwent surgery for vertical anomalous head posture, both chin up and chin down, using uh, vertical recess for sec procedures. And we didn't really have the same results that you just heard. Uh, 12 months minimum follow-up, so these all had a long follow-up, and the average was actually almost two years. All patients underwent large bilateral vertical rectus muscle surgery, and we started out doing just the recessions. Um, and so 11 patients had recessions. Six of those then went on to have resections secondarily because they were undercorrected. And after that, we began doing vertical recess for sec procedures and finding that that is uh, the way to go. <clears throat> In this group of 20 patients, you can see there's a wide uh, variety of etiologies, again, but all the typical kinds of things. Uh, infantile nystagmus syndrome, sensory nystagmus, and acquired nystagmus. And here are our results, and again, they were very favorable overall. Uh, you can see this is both chin up and chin down uh, patients uh, operated in this technique, and you can see most of them came pretty close to a straight head with this procedure. Only one was slightly overcorrected, so it's hard to overcorrect. You can see, though, in a few where they had the black dots, the six that had the second procedure, some of those had very little effect with the recession alone, and that's why we abandoned just the recession alone procedure. And again, this is an example of the type of uh, results you can get uh, with a pre-op, uh, almost a 40-degree uh, chin-up posture and post-op, really quite a good result. <clears throat> you heard about complications with this, and we just didn't see these complications. We, had, we found no new induced strabismus post-op. Three of the 20 patients developed strabismus, but all of them after more than one year after surgery, after the uh, vertical recess for sex <coughs> procedure surgery. We had no significant or uh, asymmetrical changes in the lid position after three months, and that was a big worry people had with these large vertical rectus muscle recessions and resections. Again, I think the key here is to clean all the attachments, the intermuscular septum and the tenons attachments, all the way back to the pulley on all vertical muscles. And we do that for all of our vertical surgery now, not just for this one. We had no loss of vision, actually three improved vision, one to two lines. Uh, symptomatic torsion was present in two of the 20 patients. One of them, though, was a traumatic brain injury patient who had pre-op torsional problems and post-op torsional problems. And both of those responded to a hereditary or inferior oblique re weakening surgery to take care of their torsional symptoms. And we had no significant overcorrections. We had the one patient that was overcorrected by about seven degrees, which improved over time. So based on our experience, uh, we continue to use vertical recess for sec procedures. And this is the table of surgical guidelines, 10 to 15 degrees of anomalous head posture, both chin up or chin down, about 12 millimeters of total surgery. So it's six and a six typically. Uh, 20 to 25 degrees, we use 16 total. And greater than 30 degrees, we use as much as 20 uh, millimeters of total, 10 and 10, uh, for the best result. So in conclusion, vertical rectus muscle surgery performed will successfully correct both chin up and chin down postures, I think, 
uh, in, due to no point nystagmus. Complications were uncommon and often transient. The vertically anomalous head posture, once corrected, tended to be stable. And again, some of these patients had follow up for up to nine or 10 years. And again, the average was two years, and none were less than one year. So these were all pretty long follow ups. Recession alone, <clears throat> smaller amounts were really ineffective. A 10 millimeter was unpredictable. Uh, uh, it did correct some, but again, unpredictable. So I pretty much abandoned doing uh, vertical uh, recessions alone. Now I recommend recess and resect procedures. Uh, greater than 12 millimeters total recess and resect surgery predictably corrects up to 45 diopters. And those with over 30 to 35 degrees of uh, posture uh, should undergo at least 20 millimeters of combined. And we've done up to 22 millimeters of total <laughs> surgery safely in our patients. Thank you.